do last. So we go into create and we want to create a sketch. We're going to select the bottom plane. Next, we want to create some lines. You did measure your shoe and you measured your foot. So I'm going to assume that you know this. I'm going to set up arbitrary dimensions because these really depend on what your size is. We want to have a measurement for basically your heel. Click the little green check mark and you can move on. And then we also want to have one for the widest part of your foot, which is going to be called the toe box. Now, the important thing is to know the distance from your toe to this toe box. I'm just going to put in 40 here because it is relatively there. And I'm going to put in this heel measurement. We're going to say 30 just because it's close. So you have now a grid for where, you know, generally your shoe should be. And we're going to use a spline line to now draw that shape. So I want to know that this spline line touches here, comes around, touches there, touches there, touches there. So these coincident relationships are very important, okay? So this is by no means perfect. In fact, this is very bad. What you can do is you can change these. So for example, if you don't like this, or if you want to change it, you can make it smaller. You can make it wider. I want this to be the right size. I don't really want it to not look like the thing you traced. I want it to look exactly like the thing you traced. So when you come over here, it should be kind of a jelly bean shape, frankly, for most feet. But if for any reason it's not, that's fine. You can change it. And instead of 40, you actually probably want to move this further back. Obviously, yours is probably much wider than this. Um, these lines work like this, OK? You can expand them. You can change the shape. We want this to be a clog. This is like a general, you know, decent enough version. I'm going to change this to 300 just to get the right proportions. And I'm going to move some of these points because it's going to look a lot more like your actual foot. And so that should be generally kind of the shape you should get. So you have your first drawing. It should match what you trace, though. Again, I'm just going by general dimensions. Now, you're going to go to a construction plane. You're going to make an offset plane. You're going to drag this out so it is beyond where your ankle is. Again, I am not making a shoe based on real dimensions right now. I am making a shoe just based on proportions. So we make a sketch on that plane that we just selected. We are going to also make a spline line that is going to be the shape of our ankle. Now, this is by no means the shape of my ankle. So I'm going to rotate this, and I'm going to move this so that these are in position about there, so that it is wide enough and kind of reminiscent of my ankle. So I get a shape like this. Now, if I try and loft this, that's this command right here, from this profile to, say, these profiles that I have, it is not going to really work out the way I want, right? There's no curvature there, and that's not going to be good. So what I really want to do is I want to loft this with guide rails. So I'm going to draw on the surface that goes in the middle a spline line that goes past this profile and then connects to it. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to draw sort of a shape that matches and I'm going to go a little bit beyond it. So notice these don't touch. So I hit escape so I can get out of that tool. I want it to meet up on this you know, profile path, and I'm just going to angle this so you can see it better. I want it to meet up there. So I'm going to click coincident. I'm going to click this, my path, or sorry, my profile, and this, my line. Notice it jumps. It immediately knows what I'm trying to do. It says, okay, I'm coincident there. We're going to do the same thing over here, just one more time. I'm not going to make any of these touch. Also, you should be paying close attention that the ankle kind of rounds at the bottom because that's how your ankle works. Now, we're going to use coincident, and we're going to click, just so you can see here, this profile and this point. I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> so what I want it to really be is past here. So I want to click this point, not that one. So I will click this point and this profile, and it will jump there. And that's really important because spline lines work in this interesting way where if I grab this point and I move it, it responds. That curve will change. But I won't have that if I don't go all the way past it, okay? So click coincidence, click the point, and click the profile, and it will jump to where it needs to go. Right there. 
and then finish your sketch. So you have your first guide curves. If you don't like them, remember you can always just move the points. They don't have to be perfect. They are editable. This is what's important about this. The next step of this is we're going to make another offset plane. That offset plane should really go pretty much right here. That way we know that we have something of an ankle heel relationship. You'll see why when we make the loft. So this plane right here, we're going to create a sketch on that. Again, we're going to use that spline line technique. So we have a spline line. We'll go close, but not completely touch that area. And you'll see a little check mark here when you have enough points. We're going to make two. Think of it like the shape of a vase. If you look at the back of your foot, it's kind of like that. And we'll click this little check mark. Now, we need to make coincidence relationships between this point and this profile. It will jump into position. This point and this profile. See? Jumps. Always get to a place where you can see. That way you don't get confused by what you're clicking and it will go where you need. If it doesn't look perfect, that's fine. That's why there are little indicators on each one of these points. You can move it, you can alter it as you see fit. And I'm going to make mine just about like that. And then I'm going to click Finish Sketch. It is very, very important that these are coincident, otherwise they will not be used as guide curves. So go up to Create. Now try your loft. We have the profile that we have. Oop, make sure that nothing else is selected like a point. We have this profile, and we have this bottom profile. If you've subdivided, like, subdivided it like I have, you will have to click these pieces right here. Hmm. Doesn't want to work, but we will get it there. Let's click the bottom first. We'll click this. And then we'll click the top. There you go. Now for the rails this part right here. We're going to click this plus sign so it knows that we're getting out of that. We will click this. It jumps. We will click this. It jumps. That is the response you want. If it goes in any other way, do not move forward. Just send me an email. You click these and it should look sort of like that when you are done.